What's going on guys? Welcome back to Lockdown Coverage. My name is Daniel, if you guys are new to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be discussing the new CBA proposal that's going down between the NFL and NFLPA. Some important things that they are currently discussing, currently, right now, they're currently discussing that the season, they want the season to be changed from 16 to 17 games. Season will stay the same amount of length because they will retract one preseason game. So instead of four preseason games, there will only be three. And let's be honest, no one cares about the preseason. Like, probably no one. So uh, that's actually gonna be a good thing. It's also gonna be a good thing for players because players will get more money. Uh, revenue will increase for 47% to 48.5% for the players. And you're like, oh, well, wait, 1.5%, how much money can that be? But for the NFL, you have to think they're the biggest entity or biggest sport in the US. So that means billions of dollars will be brought in for the players and owners. So it's a win-win for both sides. Another thing they are discussing is that they wanna change the playoff seating in the AFC and NFC and add one extra team, one extra wild card team. So therefore, instead of only being two wild card teams, there will be three. So, and another important thing is that uh, only the number one seeds in the AFC and NFC will get buys. So instead of there being the first and second seed getting by, only the first seed will get a buy and the second seed will have to play in the wild card round and play three games to get just to the Super Bowl. So that is going to be important during the regular season to get a first seed buy if you want to compete and stay healthy for the Super Bowl. So we have a lot of things to get to. Let's get to it. So probably the first and most important thing being discussed in this new CBA proposal is changing the season from 16 to 17 games. Is it worth it? Is it truly worth it? If I'm a player, am I gonna wanna play that one extra week? Uh, it could turn into weeks if I have a illustrious career. Uh, it's gonna put wear and tear on my body. Is it gonna be worth it? Am I gonna get more guaranteed money for it? If uh, all these things add up, then I think it might be. The NFLPA can be completely against it if they're working or if they're meeting with the NFL, discussing terms right now. So if I'm a player, I think I might be for it. But then again, I'm not a player and I'm not a front office guy, so I can't tell you what they're personally thinking. But who knows, maybe it could turn into circumstances where you see players from college sit out in their bowl games to, to make sure that they could uh, secure a spot or a top first round pick, let's say, in the NFL. Because if they do get injured, they slip and they lose money. It could work the same way if you're a pending free agent, you might not wanna play in that 17th regular season game, especially if you're not making it to the playoffs or if you have nothing to fight for seating wise. So, but if the NFLPA is discussing in the NFL again, I think that they are making progress and the players can be completely against it, but we shall see. Another key point that I wanted to discuss was the money. Plain and simple, the NFLPA is fighting because the NFL wants to extend the season an extra week. The NFLPA is saying, hey, uh, you guys are have to compensate because we're, playing it, we're putting our players at risk and uh, they could potentially get injured and stuff, as I said. So they want to change profit margins from 47% to 48.5%. And like I said earlier in the video, how much can 1.5% difference be? But for the players... Uh, it was reported that it could be over $5 billion with a B, $5 billion. So that would be distributed through uh, all the players on every NFL roster and practice squad. Um, another thing, another idea that I could give is maybe they could even expand the rosters from 53 to 60. Therefore, they could pay more players. They could have more quality players on the depth chart in case of injuries because some players do, or some teams, I'm sorry, do get bit by the injury bug some years. So it could be worth it. And uh, it, it would even be important for the higher echelon players like the quarterback. So instead of the top top tier quarterbacks making 35 million, you might be able to bump up that number from 35 to 40, maybe even 42, 43 million dollars a year. So that will be important for the players and for depth on a roster because that extra week could mean disaster in some cases. Hopefully it doesn't but having extra play on the roster will definitely help. So the last point I wanted to get to were the NFL playoffs. So the CBA proposal introduces two extra teams to the NFL, or to the NFL playoffs, I'm sorry. 
and it will be three wildcard teams instead of two like it has been since 1990. So the NFL playoffs haven't been changed since then. Um, I kind of like the idea firsthand. I also like the fact that they're only giving the one seed in the AFC and NFC buys. I like that the two seed will have to fight or play in the wild card game because instead of having two teams on buys, therefore you'll have more playoff games and it'll be more enjoyable to watch. Uh, the playoffs I think is in football in the NFL especially is probably the most fun playoff of any sport in the US or any sport that I watch. Um, so I kind of will enjoy that. Um, if you guys want to see on this top corner, uh, the Chiefs would have had to play the Steelers in the playoffs and the Steelers didn't even make the playoffs because they finished with the eight and seven record. So that seven seed will kind of introduce teams that be on the cusp of, of uh, being a good team, but I think it would have been interesting. Uh, it gives it, it gives the NFL a little bit more spice. So it's, uh, it's also kind of like the NBA where the NBA has one through eight seedings in the playoffs. The NFL will have one through seven seedings uh, in the playoffs. Just the only difference is that the NBA is uh, kind of, you have it more cemented that the good teams will beat the bad teams since it's a seven game series. What I like about this is that it's the NFL. And I'm sure you guys have heard that any given Sunday, anything could happen. So I wouldn't be surprised if a seven seed was rolling, coming in hot into the playoffs and they end up beating a two or three seed. I would not be surprised at all. I think that would, the NFL, that would make the NFL more spicy, so to speak. So um, yeah, that's all the things going now for the new CBA. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave comments. I'll get to all of them as soon as I could. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next lockdown coverage episode. Thank you guys.